Notre Dame will kick off. Alabama will receive the middleman for the Tide. Bobby Humphrey, the starting tailback. Very quick. John Carney kicks it deep. Way back. No return. Nailed it all the way beyond the field of play. And here comes Alabama now to the offense. They are strong right, double wide. Fell to the bottom of the picture. It is second down and 10. The ball goes to Hunter this time. Cuts it back against the train. Breaks it out to the 30-yard line for a first down. Ball just beyond their own 31-yard line. About 112 degrees down on that rug. Shula, late turnaround, late handoff. Scramble for the ball. Alabama keeps it. Shula saw the ball come loose. Good went by him. They missed the handoff and almost turned it over. Chris Moore is a freshman last year, averaged 45 plus yards per punt. Big tall rangy youngster came here from a high school career as a quarterback. Shoots it a mile high, gets a tight spiral. It is a howitzer shot. It goes all the way down to the end zone. Holy smokes, what a kick. Milt Jackson running along with it and decided I'm not going to mess with it. It's a tail dragger. It'll probably go deep, and it did. But it'll go in the books as a 73-yard punt. Behind Steve Berline, Tim Brown breaks out of the stack eye and goes out as a wide receiver, and up the middle goes the Irish. It is Mark Green, the sophomore from Riverside, California, ripping it up for 15 yards and a first down. Bill Jackson, number six in the ball game, as you saw him come right to you. Third down and four for the Irish. Burline, little swing pass out to Green. Mark bobbles the ball, and he hit the ground back at the 44, short of the first down by a yard. Greg Richardson is the punt return man for Alabama. There's some pressure on it, and they almost got it, but it's a pretty good kick by Sorensen. He runs uh, Richardson well back, and Notre Dame's going to knock this one dead inside the 10-yard line. So right here, it's, uh, I think, a time to be very careful. And probably very basic. They give the ball to Humphrey. He pops out of there and comes all the way out to the 17. Down a little crack and just blew it open. Humphrey in motion, leaves Good back there. Carey's got the ball, swings outside, a half the first down as he puts his helmet on uh, Mark Spence and lunges ahead and picks up the first down for the tie. Bo Wright is in the backfield now, number 40, a junior from Pritchard, Alabama. Shula's pass down the middle of the field is incomplete. There was double coverage on Greg Richardson. Tom Monahan in at fullback. Burline, your quarterback. And Tim Brown is wide to the top of the picture. And down goes Burline. Cornelius Bennett. Ball comes loose. Fourth down, the Irish to punt. Sorensen's last kick, 48-yarder. Richardson back again. No pressure this time on Sorensen. The kick is away. Good hang time on it. Greg's up to make the catch. He's going to return this one. Bounces outside, around the corner. On his way. One man. Gone. Touchdown, Alabama. And so uh, Notre Dame with Terry Andrzak in at quarterback for this series will start to a short of its 22. Good D. Berline was shaken up on that sack a while ago by Bennett. He took a body slam to the surface. Goes to Johnson, Anthony Johnson, a tough runner. Has eight yards as he gets out just past the 29. <laughs> on first down, Andrzak gives the ball to Reggie Ward. The wide receiver, Ward, turns the corner and he's out past the marker for another Notre Dame first down. And now they're starting to show a little grit in the offensive movement as the line that time got a very good surge. Second down, eight yards for Notre Dame. The ball at their own 45. Alabama leading 7-0 first quarter. Andrew Zach's pass to the sidelines. Good to Reggie Ward. Hits the sidelines at the Alabama 46. And so now the Irish are on the other side of the mountain. Still working out of the shotgun with Andrew Zach. See him creep up. It's a little different alignment here as he starts moving now. They almost had two of them moving at the same time that time. Andrew Zach is sacked way back on the Notre Dame 46-yard line by nose guard Kurt Jarvis. Shula's pass was thrown behind Bobby Humphrey. Shula's pass. Berline checking off. Freezing the Alabama defense and breaks Taylor over the left side. And Purnell goes inside the 35 to the 34-yard line and a first on, down before Ricky Thomas brought him down. 
Berline pitches it outside. Mark Green is caught behind the line of scrimmage and dropped back on the 38 by Philip Brown. Second down, 13. Reggie Ward back in for the Irish, number 83. Berline back to throw it. Throws it underneath. Going to be picked off. Nope. I tell you, that's a heady play by Joel Williams. The ball was off the tight end's hands, right into the hands of Greg Gilbert, an inside backer who had dropped, and Joel Williams had the presence of mind to realize that he was going to catch the ball, and he just dumped it. Burline is going to punt it. I think. Well, he did. Straight up. Takes an Alabama bounce back up the field. That's almost a negative punt. Bob's this one over to Kerry Good. Good's got uh, some help out in front, but he needed some in the more immediate area as Brandy Wells had him in his sights and got him short of the first down, and the tide will have to punt. It's third down and five for Notre Dame. Andrew Zach options, turns up field, gets his first down, and then some. Hard run by Terry as he gets the ball to the 40-yard line of Alabama. Ball is loose. Alabama's got it. Greg Gilbert covered it. Shula gives up uh, inside to the up man, uh, Kerry Good, and Good is close to his first down. First down, 48 yard line. Humphrey goes in motion for Alabama, leaves Good the long back. Shula wants to throw. Gets it off to Bell, wide open. Al Bell touchdown. <laughs> Steve Berline back in at quarterback. Tom Monahan fullback. Mark Green tailback. Tim Brown wide man. And Berline drops it off for Green. And Mark's got a hole. And tucks it away. And takes on two tighters up at the 41 and hangs on to it. Wayne Davis getting credit for the tackle. And it's first down Notre Dame. Line, option at the line. He's got Brown. Got Brown wide open. Tim Brown all the way down to the Alabama 27. First down. <laughs> Irish now with three wide people. And again, that student section down in that corner of the end zone gets into it. Burlines passes away and the mix up as Milt Jackson turned in. Burlines threw out and the pass is incomplete and it's fourth down. On a 46-yard field goal try. Dan Sorensen will hold it at the 36. On its way. No good. Wide left. And it's third down and about nine. Shula, sack, fumbled the ball. Notre Dame has it. Alabama 11. Burline throws, Brown, touchdown, Notre Dame. Irish got a quick snap, Alabama's defensive people were not set. Shula back, dumps it off. This is uh, good, he's got a first down, and then some as he gets it out to the 40-yard line. Got a minute and 35 to go in the first half. Shula's gonna stay in the air. Goes to the sidelines for Greg Richardson. Steps out of bounds at the 42. That ought to get a flag, but it does. Richardson is hit way well out of bounds by Troy Wilson and knocked hard into the bench. Remember that dramatic 52-yarder against Auburn last year? This is Bobby Humphrey running reverse with Al Bell. Bell coming around, two men in front of him. To inside the 20, inside the 15. Gets to the sidelines, out of bounds at about the 12. Mike Kovaleski finally brought him out. Humphrey in motion. Shula passing. Touchdown, Howard Cross. It is third down now, and they need close to four yards. Burline throws the ball over Bennett to Mark Green. Green gets away down the sidelines for an Irish first down. It's Andrzejczyk, not Burline. 
And you've got 32 seconds remaining as the clock is stopped on the out of bounds play. Second down and 10 for the Irish up on the 41. Andrew Zach slips. Got some room now, and he's got Brown over there, and Brown has the ball for a first down at the Alabama 34 in front of Britton Cooper. If you got a gimmick play, this might be the place. Pressure from the backside. Andrew Zach steps away from it, throws for Mill Jackson. He's inside the 10 and knocked out of bounds at the 5. With three seconds left. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is high, and good. And time has run out. So after the first half of play, Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama 21, and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame 10. And uh, the Tide will be kicking off to Notre Dame and Tim Brown. Tiffin hits it high to the goal line for Brown. Fumbles. Alabama's got it. Second effort on the 20 yard line. It's a turnover, and Alabama jumps on the ball at the Notre Dame 18. Desmond Holloman. They send Bell and Richardson now to the bottom of the picture and put Humphrey in motion to the boundary side. Julius pass for touchdown. Bell. Touchdown. immediately gets into it. They take it inside with Taylor. He bounces off the stack and gets the football out to the 30 before Cornelius Bennett brings it down. Erline losing the handle, fighting his way to the bottom and covering the ball. 28 to 10, Alabama leading. Notre Dame trying to untrack it here in the third quarter as Andrew Zach goes back to throw, runs away from Bennett and takes off. He's got his first down as he runs the ball out to the 47-yard line, and Philip Brown finally bulldogged him up there. Reggie Ward is in. Brown is out. Burline to throw. Gets away from Jarvis. Oh! Cornelius Bennett knocked the ball loose, but his hand was going forward. It is an incomplete forward pass. Here comes Shula now. First down at the 18-yard line. Goes Bo Wright. And Bo Wright, a 215 pound junior from Pritchard, carrying the ball for the first time in the game. I think he's carried it. He, he was in previously, but did not carry the ball, and he blew out of there at that time. Third down and seven. Shula pitches it outside to Humphrey. Got him out there one on one, but that's a very good open field tackle by Troy Wilson to stop him short of the first down. So in comes the punting team for the Tide. They start on the east side in the American League playoff. First down, Andrew Zach gives the ball away to Hiawatha Francisco, who has finally gained reasonable help and is back in uniform. Crowd getting into it here, making as much noise as possible as Berline loads up. Intercepted! And picked off by Freddie Robinson. Third Notre Dame turnover, fourth down. Was coming up, and the Irish trying to deliver on third and long, trying to force the pass. It didn't work. Here's the reverse the other way. Second time Bell has run the play today, and he's loose. And Al Bell carries the football inside the Notre Dame 15-yard line before Mike Haywood finally got in. They send Humphrey to the boundary, and Shula drops. Shovels the ball ahead. And the ball is rolling around loose. It's an incomplete forward pass, and in comes Van Tiffin. This is a 29-yard field goal try. Missed it. Well, how do you do? Andrew Zach, a little quick pop to Johnson. Johnson is taken down immediately by, Cone uh, by uh, Freddie Robinson. And... Uh, it's called an incomplete forward pass. He didn't hold on as he went down. You all come back now, yeah? <laughs> Here's the pitch to Humphrey. Cuts it back against the grain, finds daylight, and crosses midfield and picks up a first down at the Notre Dame 48 yard line. Last year he became the first freshman ever at Alabama to go over 100 yards rushing two consecutive games. 
inside. Bo Wright working with the ball. He just kept on wiggling around and people kept sliding off of him and he gets inside the 40. Shula outside. Bell set up the screen for him. Gets one block and gets down just short of the 30 where James Bob, a senior from Port Arthur, Texas, got him. If he had, if Bell had been able to get past Bob, he might still be going. Shula's pass, intercepted. Bad pass, overthrown, intended for Humphrey, picked off by Mike Haywood. Haywood with a big return. He's finally run down from behind at the 40-yard line. Tim Brown is the wide man at the bottom of the picture, and Andrew Zach coming down on the option, goes outside to Johnson, gets a good block from Tim Brown, and crosses midfield and fights his way on down to about the Alabama 46. Clock running at 10 seconds to go in the third quarter. Andrew Zach on the option, uh, runs back the other way and turns, uh, and oh, fumbles the football and a scramble on it. Notre Dame keeps it. Whoa. Alabama leads 28 to 10. Notre Dame owns the football. Second down and three at the Alabama 38-yard line. Steve Burline in at quarterback. In trouble. Turns his helmet and shoulders upfield, though, lunging for his first down. And they're going to call him down, even though uh, Slaughter comes out of the stack with the ball. Final quarter of play. 13.35 to go in the game. Burline straight back. It is fourth down and five for Notre Dame at the Alabama 31. Minutes after. Pass is overthrown, intended for Anthony Johnson, and Burline is turned upside down by Cornelius Bennett just as he threw the ball. Little shovel pass to Bo Wright, gets a block on the corner, gets one from Humphrey, turns it up to the 36, and there he is gang tackled. This one is complete. And Milt Jackson will have the first down. He retreated a little bit, came back to the marker, and then turned back upfield to assure the first down right about the Irish 49-yard line. Zach gets his pass off down the sidelines and it is incomplete intended for Tony Easton had no chance to get it because once again there was a linebacker in the face Philip Brown in this case of the Irish quarterback and this will be a fine football team Lou Holtz is an outstanding coach but it's taking time Mike Shula deep drop trying to set up the screen for Bo Wright he broke away from a couple of Notre Dame men, but one of them nicked him just enough. Number 37 got a piece of him. Dave Butler, and down he goes, and in comes the kicking team. Andrzejczak rolls it and goes deep with it, and it is intercepted. Picked off by Freddie Robinson, his second of the day. It was hammered home this week. It Everybody kept was. saying they were 0-4 against Notre Dame, and they kept saying, well, we haven't played Notre Dame. Shula rolls it out. Gets a great block, gets his pass off. The pass is, did he catch that? My goodness, Howard Cross just inserted himself into the passing game for Alabama. First down for the Tide at the Irish inside the 49, and this is Bobby Humphrey breaking loose and picking up another first down at the Notre Dame 33 and then fumbles the ball away and somebody, I was a Steve Lawrence, comes up with it. Steve Bellis is in there at quarterback now. A big sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona, making his first appearance. Gives it to Tim Brown and Brown is lucky to get a yard out of it. Steve Bellis is in there at quarterback now. A big sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona, making his first appearance. Ellis throws to the sidelines. Penalty flag is back up field. The ball is intercepted by number 34, Ricky Thomas, the strong safety. Let's see about the penalty. Third down and three for Alabama. Shula got a problem, but ducks away from it. But the pursuit coming from the rear gets him. Number 87, Tom Gorman, the nose tackle. 
Wilson and Jackson are the deep people for Notre Dame as Chris Moore is in to punt. His last one was 29. But he shoots this one high. Way up. And it's out of bounds. Coffin corner. That's called Poochin. Notre Dame's football, second down and three. Long three from their nine. Andrew Zach turns it up the field and will not get the first down. I don't think. His forward progress is close to the yard marker. They did get their first down on the measurement. Andrew Zach pitches the ball. They're running the ball with uh, Juan Francisco carrying and getting out of bounds up around the 19-yard line. That stops the clock at 148. Andrew Zach back to pass the ball is going to be sacked and dropped back on the eight-yard line. The Alabama defense forcing and forcing and forcing and forcing. Clock is rolling now and is going to run out. And the Crimson Tide of Alabama is going to be one and four. They have finally beaten the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame as the clock is stopped here for a moment on a penalty. A personal foul is now called against Alabama. And if you think there was a party out under the oak trees before the game, y'all ought to come see what's going to happen after the game. Takes off with it. And is finally put on the ground at about the 38, 39, 40 yard line. And the clock stops with three seconds. There'll be one more snap. Now they let it run out. Ball game is over. And Ray Perkins and his fighters have done it. They have defeated Notre Dame. Good football game. There will be other times because these teams will continue their series. Lou Holtz there talking. Mike Shula and Al Ray Perkins. And your final score. Alabama 28, Notre Dame 10.